Today, John, my man, welcome to the channel. John, what are you riding? 2016 FZ09. FZ09, that's a great bike. How do you like it? It's awesome, man. Any complaints? Nope. Earlier I asked you what you wanted to do today, what your favorite restaurant was, all that. You were like, I don't care about food. <laughs> I'm done with the beer. You want to go hit a brewery. That's right. So let's go do that. Okay. But first, let's swing by Tribuco General Store. We'll go see Bob, we'll raid his pockets, grab a soda and figure out where we're going. All right. <laughs> All right, all right. You know I like to race to the white line, right? The loser buys the winner, soda. Nope. Is that well terrific? Is that well terrific? Well terrific got that supercar. I mean, it's a cool car and all, but it seems like every time I see it in one of his videos, it's broken or he's talking about it being broken. I bet that car's not a cheap one to fix, man. Brewery, huh? I don't think we've ever been to a brewery on this channel. We'll start like a beer brewery tour. I know a few of you guys have asked me to do that in the past, and every brewery has an interesting story behind it. I'm gonna think about that. Let me know in the comments section below if you guys would be into that. There's enough of them around, man. It'll keep the content going for a while. Look at this, Hunky Dory. Remember that, Hunky Dory? You take Hunky Dory to Okie Dokie. Welcome. Have you ever met Bob? No. He's a little handsy, watch out. Hi, how are you? Somebody stole my hat. Bob, where'd the hat go? Oh man, Bob. So you never met Bob before? No. That's Bob, dude. Bye. Cat cam under his cock. What do we got? Nothing. You ain't got much for me today, but I got something for you. Here you go. I'm gonna put one under your cock. All right, dude, what should we get? Oh, wait. Chicken and a biscuit? I haven't seen these in so long. Better cheddar? They have bacon flavors pretty good. Yeah. If you eat too many of them though, you won't like them anymore. Okay. What's up man, how are you? Channel, man. <laughs> What's up buddy? Right on, right on dude. Got the most entertaining channel. Oh, I appreciate it. a lot of uh, YouTube, but they're not as entertaining as your channel. I appreciate that man, have a sticker. All right. Can I buy you a soda? Sure, whatever. Yeah. Pick what you want, it's on me. It's on him actually. He lost a race. He lost a race? Right, downhill? To the white line. What did you get? I'll try the grape out. Oh, dude, you're, you're being brave. You doing a photo shoot? Yeah, for a wedding. Yeah, congratulations, man. Yeah, we're going to do some videos and stuff. Sick. I'm going to have them sit out the back of the Forerunner and just film for a little bit. So. It's your wedding, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we just had it. I was like, this bike looks super familiar. Yeah. I was like, is that who I think it is? That's awesome, man. Awesome, man. Hey, thanks for the sticker, dude. Ride safe, you guys, okay? You too, man. Over our sodas, you come up with a brewery to go check out. Where are we going? The brewery in Placentia. Nice. Have you ever been there before? Yes, plenty of times. Is it good? Yeah, they got some some dank beers for sure. What about food, man? Because I'm hungry. They got a food truck. Um, oh shit, we're going to a place that doesn't serve food? Yeah. You said they got a food truck? Yeah. Alright, I'm down for food trucks. I can't get my phone to connect to my Senna, so... We're going to let John lead us. He's the brewery guy anyway. some funny dudes at the Tribuco General Store. Probably link back up with them in a couple months, man. We're gonna go back to Mexico, I think. <laughs> Tijuana! I think my phone must have like updated overnight or something and like reset all my Bluetooth connections. I was having trouble connecting my phone to my truck this morning. Usually you just get in the thing and it's all good to go, man. But not today. As usual, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about a place where we're going to today. The Brewery. The brewery was founded in 2008 by Patrick Root in Placentia. The boutique brewery specializes in barrel-aged experimental ales. Built in a friend and family environment. Since 2008, the brewery's won many awards. I'm not a huge craft IPA beer guy, so these are some things that I'm gonna have to learn about if we're gonna continue hitting these breweries. Honestly, I don't know what to expect. I am gonna sample some of the beers, but I'm not gonna go overboard. I'm gonna keep it very, very light as far as the drinking goes. I'm not a fan of drinking and riding. I'm gonna hang out for a little while and make sure it's totally out of my system before I get back on the bike. Anyway, that's all I got on today's destination. I'm excited to check it out because this is a world I'm just not familiar with. Excited to learn about it. And hopefully you're excited to see it. Beer is better than women are. A beer will always give you a good head. Dun dun. A beer always tastes good in bed. Dun dun. <laughs> all right, John, white line. He should beat me. That bike's way faster than this one. We'll see though. 
Look at the groms, man. Yeah. <laughs> Did I get you? I think I won. All right, rematch. White line. I think he got me. A lot of Harleys back there. <laughs> Got a GoPro, making car vlogs. Radio, someone still loves you. Watsons, remember when I went there? Yeah, that place was awesome. Went there with Ghost Ninja. I like that spot. I want to go back. The whole family's on segways. I like it. <laughs> the pump room. That place is fun. And then across the street, second base. John Tapper went there. That place was a bikini bar before John Tapper went in there and tried to change it all up. Then, after he left and fixed it all up, it turned into a bikini bar again. <laughs> with a good on-ramp wheelie, huh? Sure is a stupid looking car. <laughs> Old tie-dye swinging through, my man! All right, here we are. Oh, look at that, you weren't kidding. It's a barbecue food truck. You might have hit the jackpot. Are you allowed to bring the food inside and eat it? Yeah. That's what you do? Yeah. All right. All right, the brewery. That place was good, man. Good call. Yeah, man. So out of all the beers that we got, I remembered there was like a horchata beer. Yeah. That was probably my favorite. That's one of my favorites too. I tried five, and the only one that really stood out to me was that horchata beer. Yeah, I mean the horchata like sticks out a lot more, and that's one of my favorites. The other notable thing about this place was the food truck. I don't know if that truck's there all the time. I don't think it is. They rotate food trucks. Yeah, every day there's a different truck. Well, that truck was called Barbecusion. It was really good. You got the pulled pork, I got the brisket. About 24 bucks for the two sandwiches, but it was good, it was yeah. good. Food trucks out here, they're expensive. It is what it is. It's better than not having anything to eat. How would this brewery compare to all the different breweries that you've gone to? This is one of the top breweries in the area for sure. Let's rank it one to 10. Where would it be? Solid nine, dude. Solid nine. Solid nine. All right, so you brought me to greatness right off the bat. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Definitely encourage you guys to check this place out if you're 21. Oh, and for the record, I think we had the equivalent of maybe even one beer. So we're not drunk, we're not buzzed, nothing, dude. We drank what you saw, and then we had the sandwich, and we hung out and talked for about an hour. So we're, we're totally good to go. Breweries. Was good. I don't know. As far as beer goes, I'm gonna be open-minded a little bit. And try some other stuff. Normally, I'm a Bud Light Corona guy. After trying some of these beers that we tried today, I feel like there's some other stuff out there for me. Yeah. All right. Fun day riding around with John. Hope to do it again. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it, as always. Want to give a huge shout out to all the patrons of the channel. You know I love each and every one of you. You guys help me live the dream. Thank you. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you haven't yet, subscribe. 
Make sure you hit the notification bell so you're aware of when I do upload a video, be part of that notification squad. Seriously, hit the notification bell. YouTube won't tell you I got a video out unless you hit that bell, I promise you that. They make it difficult these days for channels to survive. Check out my website at suburbanlingwin.com. Key tags, stickers, t-shirts, hats, that sort of thing. Definitely support the channel's sponsors, law offices of Henry Haddad, Chaparral Motorsports, Boss Helmets, Louis Moto. Those companies give a shit, and they can spend their ad dollars any way they choose. They choose to support Suburban Delinquent. All I ask is that if you're in the need of any of their services or products, consider them first. If you aren't aware yet, I do have a second channel. It's all dirt bike stuff. Lots of crashes and struggling. I'm a really shitty dirt bike rider, but I have fun. You might like it. Link in the description of the video for everything. All right, guys. Love you all. See you next week. Later.